Yeah, generally I have to look, I pick up a branch on, look on the underside. And when I do that, especially when you have a light, um, sometimes you can pick up the white uh, wool that was produced at this time of year by uh, the last generation, that which would be in May. Um, currently, the uh, progeny of those have settled on the newest growth and they are little tiny black dots that are really difficult to see um, if you don't have a magnifying glass. Uh, but in the case of having this much light, uh, if you have a lot of experience, you can pick them up. But I encourage people to use a uh, magnifying glass or something at this stage. But um, so here we are in October and they've just begun to start growing and it's really strange. They grow throughout the winter time, getting larger and larger until in spring they lay their eggs, probably in April. Um, and so I think one of the interesting aspects of the biology of this insect is that so how does it grow in the winter time? It's a cold-blooded thing, right? It can't really grow if it's not warm. But if you look at the tops of these branches, the needles are nice and white, uh, nice and dark. And so uh, basically, whenever the light hits them, it'll warm up the twig and that that microclimate next to the twig, and it'll make it warm enough for the insects to develop throughout the winter time.